A pricey proposal. Grandview City leaders have come up with a plan to begin fixing serious road and bridge issues created by back-to-back -back floods. That high water caused upwards of $4 million in damage to the community's infrastructure, money they'll need to spend that was not in any budget plan. 21 Action News reporter Belinda Post caught up with city leaders to find out what needs to happen to get those repairs underway. Good morning. Good morning, Joel and Lindsay. And in fact, city leaders here in Grandview do have a plan. It's to spend about $200,000 for some immediate repairs. As you can see, really, that will be necessary several places in Grandview. Most of that money will go toward immediate street and storm sewer repairs. The recent floods also caused major damage to culverts under Raytown Road. The public work director tells us that some of these funds will go towards hiring an engineer to determine the best way to fix that larger problem. Hopefully, we won't find any problems. But it's money well spent because it's strictly safety. You know, a, a bridge falling is not what we want. And of course, safety of the utmost importance. Some of that money to fix the flood damage will come from the capital improvement sales tax that Grandview voters just voted on last month. And in fact, their board of aldermen is set to meet tonight at 7 to discuss this. Reporting live in Grandview, Belinda Post, 41 Action News Today.